I got bronchitis. Ain't nobody got time for that. Hey book lovers, it's Cindy Books today with a new video and I swear I don't really have bronchitis. I was just quoting the ain't nobody got time for that video. So yeah, let's get started with that. So today I will be using scissors. You guys better beware because it's an unboxing video, one of my first ones. So that'll be fun. It's also kind of like a dual video because I'm going to have a book haul at the end after the unboxing because the unboxing is... Uh, uh, Ooh, word vomit. Okay, the unboxing doesn't take that long, so then I'll have, like, my book haul because I only bought a few books this month. So, let's get started with that. Here we are unboxing the Harry Potter box set, and I think my mom said these are, like, special edition, so let's see what's inside this box, shall we? I'm trying to do an eyebrow flick, but it won't work. I have to get down low for this, but, you know, it works. So here we go. I can't wait to see what these hardcover ones look like. Bad. I'm bad with scissors. New factoid. Here we go. There better not be another box before I get to these books. Okay. Oh, Lord. Wait. Ugh. This requires effort. That was just a box. Don't worry, I didn't drop anything. Oh look, it's a pretty box. Here we are, the Harry Potter box set. Let's see if I can open this from eh. I'm bad at opening things, guys. This I'll get back to you. Okay, I'm back to you. Finally got the box open, and here we are, all seven Harry Potter books. And I think this is a little novella, or like Hogwarts guide on the side. Boom. Do you see how pretty those are? Yeah, tell me about it. And I love how on the top it's like delivered to Hogwarts. It has like a little Hogwarts stamp. So you can, if I can lift this thing, they're really heavy because they're like seven hardcover books which are like over 500 pages long. So yeah. Well, that was my Harry Potter box set. You can count that as my first part of my book haul because technically I dated them this month. And now we'll get started with my February book haul. So the first book I'm going to share for my February book haul is The Duff, which I read almost immediately after I got because I wanted to read it or finish it before I saw the movie, which unfortunately I didn't, but I still finished it like a day after. And let me tell you, this book was porn. Literally, they, she did it like every chapter. And I'm like, girl, control yourself. But yeah, in the movie it was nothing like that. It was so PG-13, this is like not PG-13. But you know, it was still like, it. Well, I wouldn't consider it rated R, but like, because it didn't like go into details. It just said, like, implied. That's the word I wanted to use. Implied that she was doing it, like, every other chapter. So, yeah. Next book. The next book is An Abundance of Catherines by John Green, which I have, like, four John Green books on my shelf, so this is just adding to the collection, because I've already read most of his works, except for Let It Snow, but I'm on that. I'm getting on that. And speaking of John Green, before I get started on talking on this book, I have yet to see, have yet to see the Paper Towns trailer, which came out today. But I'm going to ask you guys: Would you rather see, an, since I'm going to see Insurgent today, would you rather see an Insurgent movie review or a Paper Towns trailer reaction? So comment down below because I want to know. So yeah, Abundance of Catherine's. Me and my whatever me and. Sydney went to Barnes and Noble. She bought it, and then like a month later, I got to Target. I'm like, oh hey, I'll get this. So I got it, and we were reading the blurb, and it sounds really interesting. My friend Abby was reading, it and she's like, oh, it's really confusing to me, but I think I like it a lot. So I can't wait to read this little trinket. Next book and last book I got this month was 20% off, which most of the books I got are called The List by. Theo Hobbin Vivian. 
I'm sorry if I butchered your name. I just can't pronounce a lot of things. But the list made me want to get it, not only because the cover looks really good, but we I read the blurb and it sounds so good. Like the blurb hooked me straight on. It's about how this high school, every year before homecoming, they have a list. Who's the prettiest and who's the ugliest of the girls. And it's like a bunch of different girls and their reactions to the list. And so can't wait to read this one. I was super excited to write out this because my kind of genres are like high school dramas and chick lit and things like that. I'm just a really girly book reader person. Yeah. So that's about it for this video. I'm going to do the stacking with the box because I don't want to carry that heavy box set because I mean who would? I could barely lift it. So yeah, this is my stackingness. Thanks for watching guys, don't forget to hit subscribe down below and like 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 this video if you liked it and I totally did that backwards but who cares, I don't care. Do you care? No, I don't think so. I don't think so. But yeah, don't forget to subscribe, word vomit again, gosh I can't speak today. Don't forget, don't forget to subscribe. Bye guys. I can't lift it. It's like so heavy. Why is it so heavy? Oh yeah, I know why. Because they're mostly 500 page books. That's the explanation for it.